what's up beautiful it's your girl kia and i'm back at it again with another video and i'm back with this super easy and fun cute jumpsuit tutorial so what you're gonna need is two yards of stretchy four waist spandex i got this spandex from joann's um if you are a size medium slash small a yard and a half would be just perfect so what i always well the majority of the time i do usually use clothes that i already have so like my stencils is usually like you know what i'm saying stuff that i already have because i just just so i know it'll fit so if you do have an old jumpsuit or even leggings you can use um that as a stencil so basically what you do want to do is lay the garment that you are going to be using as a stencil on the stretchy fabric and you just want to cut around that make sure you leave about an inch no, not an inch. Yeah, maybe like a half a, a half an inch of space between the actual garment and what you are cutting, just so you don't cut the fabric too small. So altogether, you are going to need four pieces for the pant area. So for the part your legs are going to go in, that's going to be four pieces, and then the top part is going to be a two pieces. So one piece in the front, one piece in the back, and then for your sleeves, you are going to need also four pieces. Um, so all together, what is that? Four, four, I can't count, about 10 pieces. This is a very easy project. Now watch closely how I do cut the pieces for my sleeve out because as you can see I'm using this as a template and this is how I cut all the other pieces. I didn't show you how to cut every single piece out but this is exactly what I did for each piece. So I laid it flat on the actual fabric and then I just cut around that. But since there is going to be a front piece to the sleeve and the back piece, a back piece to the sleeve I did cut out two of this exact same piece and then i flipped it over and i did two of those exact same pieces because for one sleeve you are like i said going to need two pieces so we got that and then this is going to be the front panel for the jumpsuit and i am cutting a little you know cleavage moment in the front so that's what that is Sorry, I'm so terrible at explaining stuff, but I promise it's gonna get easier. So to start, we are, since all the pieces are cut, we are now going to start to sew. So here are the two pieces for one leg, and this is the two pieces for the other leg. That's how she's gonna look. And you want to just match those two up and sew a line right where I am gesturing on both sides. So now you wanna open it up, and once you have your you know little line of stitches, you open her up and this is going to be the front side to your pants. You're going to do the exact same thing to the other pieces um, that you cut out for the bottom. And then once you've done that, you've got a front side and a back side um, for your pants. And you just want to sew those together. This is what she looks like so far. So we got the pants complete. Love it. Snatched. 
so now this is going to be the top part so the one panel is well okay so the front the back panel is one piece and then the front panel is going to be two pieces that's because i want a little v cut and i did make sure to do a line of stitches down the front and then you do just want to attach the front to the back like such i'm so sorry to the beginners uh, sewers or whatnot i am going to make a video specifically for you because i know my Tutorials sometimes aren't that detailed for people who just started sewing, so I got you, sis. Once you've done all of that, you just want to start on your sleeve. So again, you want to put two of the sleeve pieces on top of each other and just use a zigzag stitch to stitch those together. And then next we are going to cut the little ruffle part i did use a um top to a plastic bowl that we have because i just felt like it was the perfect circumference so i used that and i ended up cutting out four of these circle pieces two for the sleeves and two for the actual pant legs because i didn't want it on my pant legs too um you can obviously not do it on the pants and just do the sleeves or just do the bottoms and not do the sleeves it i mean it just it completely is up to you Once you've got your bigger circle, we are going to cut a smaller circle out in the middle so you can attach it to the end of the sleeve. So let me show you how I did it. So I folded it in like fourths and then I took the actual sleeve that I already made, that was pre-made, that we already sewed together. And I just kind of based like, I measured how much I needed to cut off. So I just took a, I did a little snip at the end and just cut straight across to make sure that it was actually gonna fit at the end of the sleeve. This is an easy way to do it. Obviously, a lot of this stuff I taught myself. I taught myself how to sew. So a lot of this stuff I know it isn't technical, but it works. <laughs> so that's what we got. And once you open her up, there is a circle cut out. And that is how you're going to attach her to the bottom of your sleeve. So once you've done that, you just want to sew her again, a zigzag stitch all the way around. You want to do this to the sleeves and to the, to, to the pant legs, if that's, you know, the kind of mood that you're going for. After you've completed everything, you've sewn everything together, this is your completed look. So she really didn't take me that long to do. And I don't consider myself to be um, an expert at sewing. I still am kind of beginner friendly. I'm still teaching myself, you know, little things to do. So this really wasn't that bad. Um, let me know what y'all want to see next. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.